So let's get started. What on earth was Rishi Sunak playing at with his spring statement? As folk face the biggest cost of living crisis on record and the economy is in urgent need of post-COVID recovery, what did he do? He left us facing the highest tax take since Clement Attlee's Labour government in the 1940s and 50s and the sharpest fall in our living standards since 1956. Yes, as I've just said, he raised the amount that people could earn before they pay national insurance, but then raised the rate at which you start paying national insurance. He promised a 1p cut in the basic rate of income tax in 2024, but stuck with the freeze in the allowances. That's the amount that you and I can earn before we pay basic and even higher rates of tax. That means that more low paid workers are going to be paying tax and more middle earners will be paying higher and even top rates of tax. He gave business a bit for research and development, but he stuck with his plan to raise their corporation tax rates from 19 percent to 25% by 2023. He also sat down with around £50 billion in his war chest, money that he could have given back to us, the taxpayers, because that, ladies and gentlemen, is where it comes from. If his master plan is to give most of it back to us just before the general election, I would venture that that might just be bad politics, because we'll all have gone through a pretty torrid two years before we get there. It strikes me it was potentially anti-earner, anti-business, with not enough for the real poor. And yes, probably it was cack-handed electioneering. I have a great panel to discuss this. Put me right, agree with me, or take me down other roads.